Good morning and welcome to today's class. Today's class is a continuation of our previous classes on swords. In today's class, we shall be looking at the concept of conjugate binomial swords. At the last class, we were able to complete the third objective, which says we should apply the rules of multiplication and division of sorts in solving sorts problems. And at the last class, I left the class with an assignment where we were asked to evaluate bracket 5 plus root 3 into 2 root 6 minus root 3, as well as bracket x plus y to be multiplied by bracket x minus y. So I shall be giving you the solutions to this assignment, which I will encourage you to compare with yours and do the correction where necessary. Bracket 5 plus root 3 to be multiplied by bracket 2 root 6 minus root 3. We said you have to split one of the brackets into two and use them in turns in multiplying the second bracket. So if you do that, you will have this to be 5 into 2 root 6 minus root 3 plus root 3 into 2 root 6 minus root 3. When you expand this further, this will give us 10 root 6 minus 5 root 3 and this also will be plus 2 root 18 minus root 3 times root 3 is said to be 3. Simplifying them further, we have 10 root 6 minus 5 root 3 plus 2 into root 18 can be said to be 3 root 2. This is 3 root 2 minus 3. You already know why it is 3 root 2. So when you simplify this further, you have 10 root 6 minus 5 root 3 plus 6 root 2 minus 3. And this can be said to be your answer as it cannot be simplified further. The second assignment, we are to multiply bracket x plus y into bracket x minus y. You do same, split one of the brackets into two and use them in tongues to multiply the second bracket. This will give us x into bracket x minus y plus y into bracket x minus y. So when you simplify this, you have x squared minus xy plus xy minus y squared. For minus xy, we cancel out minus xy, giving us 0, and this becomes x squared minus y squared. We refer to this as difference of two squares. Now let's go to today's class. In today's class, we shall be looking at the conjugates of binomial sorts using the idea of difference of two squares. And we said a binomial sort is of the form x plus root y, root x plus root y, or x root y minus y root x and it can be written in so many forms for a binomial sort is said to be a two-term expression where one is said to be in sort form and these are the various examples you can get so both of them can be in sort form or at least one is said to be in sort form that is a binomial sort has more than one term. To rationalize a binomial sort, we use the idea of difference of two squares. For instance, to rationalize root x plus y, we multiply, we multiply it by its conjugate, which is root x minus y, to get 
to have root x squared minus y squared. Therefore, root x plus y and root x minus y are said to be conjugates of one another. The product of a sort and its conjugate will give a real number. Now, we have said so many things of which I would like to expansiate further. We said conjugate, a conjugate of a sort A is said to be a sort B that which when multiplied with that sort A makes it a rational number or makes it a real number. And from the previous example I showed you, which we said a binomial sort can be rationalized by the idea of difference of two squares. If you look at this, this is difference of two squares. And the idea of difference of two squares says that if you multiply a sort or a number or an expression by its conjugate, it gives you an expression x squared minus y squared. So this is the idea of difference of two squares that we are going to apply in solving solidar problems. So the first thing you need to do is to ask yourself what is the conjugate of a sort before you will then rationalize it. I have given you different forms of binomial sorts. Now let's see if we can get the conjugate of each of these sorts. What can you say is the conjugate of x plus root y? The conjugate of x plus root y can be said to be x minus root y. For when you are asked to find the conjugate of a sort, all you need to do is to consider the second term. This is two terms, which is plus x and plus root y. For you to get the binomial expression of this sort, change the sign of the second term from positive to negative or from negative to positive and that gives you the conjugate of that sort. For example, x plus root y, its conjugate is said to be x minus root y. While root x plus root y, its conjugate is said to be root x minus root y. Why the conjugate of x root y minus y root x can be said to be x root y plus y root x. Remember, all you need to do is simply to change the sign of the second term and that gives you its conjugate. Now, we say to rationalize a binomial sort, you are to multiply that sort by its conjugate. Now that we have known the conjugate, all you need to do now is to multiply the sort and its conjugates together and it gives you a rational number. So we shall be taking some examples. Example one, we are asked to evaluate the following using its conjugate. So all you need to do is to first of all, get the conjugate of the binomial sort and then multiply it. When you do that, you will end up rationalizing the sort. So the conjugate of five plus root three can be said to be five minus root three. So we are asked to evaluate using its conjugate. So multiply this using its conjugate. Remember with the idea of difference of two squares says if you multiply a sort by its conjugate, it gives you the square of the first term minus the square of the second term. So that means this will be equal to five squared minus root three squared and 5 squared minus root 3 squared is equal to 5 squared is said to be 25 minus root 3 squared. The square will cancel the square root, giving us 3. And when you subtract, this is equal to 25 minus 3, which is 22. And if you solve it using the multiplication of two brackets, like we did in the previous classes, you will also mm -hmm. arrive at 22. And that I can simply do by multiplying the two brackets that is 5 plus root 3 times 5 minus root 3 so when you split this into two you have 5 into brackets 5 minus root 3 plus root 3 into brackets 5 minus root 3 now this is just a proof of 
the difference of two squares. Five times five will give you five squared minus five root three plus when you expand this it gives you five root three and plus root three times minus root three is said to be minus bracket root three squared of which plus five minus five is zero leaving us with five squared minus root three squared which is same thing as what i got here and five squared is 25 minus root three squared is three which gives you 22. so the idea of difference of two squared tells us that all you need to do instead of you going through all this all you need to do is just to square the first term minus the square of the second term and simplify that gives you your answer so i won't be using this because i've already known that it gives me this all i need to do is just apply the idea of difference of two squared but if you are not too sure about it or you want to perfect your idea your your knowledge on difference of two squares then you can simplify it this way but i think this is going to eat much of your time example two we are to evaluate using its conjugate so the conjugate of two root six minus root three can be said to be bracket two root six plus root three using the idea of difference of two squares this can be said to be equal to two root six squared minus bracket root three squared and remember when you have to square a term you multiply every term in that bracket so this becomes four squared times root six squared is said to be six minus root three squared is three this is equal to four squared is 16 16 times six minus three and 16 times three is said to be 96 96 minus three gives us 93 and this is your answer by rationalizing or by multiplying a sort by its conjugate it gives us a real number we shall take another example that we should simplify the following by rationalizing the denominators in this case the binomial expression is now serving as the denominator of a fraction so all you need to do is simply to rationalize and just like we said when you are rationalizing you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator so the conjugate of 6 root 5 plus 4 is said to be 6 root 5 minus 4 divided by 6 root 5 minus 4 for when you multiply any expression by 1 it does no change to that expression so multiplying out we have 3 into 6 root 5 minus 4 divided by you can then apply the difference of two squares this becomes bracket 6 root 5 squared minus 4 squared this will be equal to i can still factorize out 2 from the um, digits in the numerator and this gives me 2 times 3 into 3 root 5 minus 2 divide by squaring this you have 6 squared times 5 minus 16 this can be said to be equal to 6 into 3 root 5 minus 2 all divided by 6 squared is 36 times 5 minus 16 when you simplify further this is equal to you have 6 into 3 root 5 minus 2 divided by 36 times 5 this should give us 36 times 5 6 times 5 is 30 
carry 3, 6, 5 times 3 is 15 plus 3 is 18. So we have 180 minus 16. This is equal to 6 into 3 root 5 minus 2 all divided by 180 minus 16. This should give us 164. Yes, 164. So, look for a factor that can divide 6 and 164. We can start from the least. 2 can divide. 2 into 6 is 3. 2 into 16 is 8. 2 into 4 is 2. Since 3 cannot divide, our answer becomes 3 into 3 root 2 minus 2 divided by 82. And this is your answer. Example 2, we are to rationalize the denominator, that is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of 3 root 3 minus 1. And the conjugate of 3 root 3 minus 1 is said to be 3 root 3 plus 1, all divided by 3 root 3 plus 1. When you multiply out the numerator, it gives you 7 into 3 root 3 plus 1. Divide by, apply the difference of 2 squares, you have 3 root 3 squared minus 1 squared. Simplifying this further, you have 7 into 3 root 3 plus 1. Divide by, when you simplify the denominator, this gives us 9 times 3 minus 1. And this is said to be equal to 7 into 3 root 3 plus 1 divided by 9 times 3 is 27 and 27 minus 1 is 26 and there is no factor that can divide 7 and 26 and this is said to be our answer c we have 3 root 2 plus 2 divided by 3 root 2 minus 2 we we'll also multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of 3 root 2 minus 2, which is said to be 3 root 2 plus 2, divided by 3 root 2 plus 2. And when you do this, you are going to have bracket 3 root 2 plus 2 to be multiplied by bracket 3 root 2 plus 2, all divided by, I apply the difference of 2 squares because these two are said to be conjugate. You have 3 root 2 squared minus 2 squared. Please note, the numerators are not conjugate sort, so you don't apply that. This can be simplified to be equal to, split one of the brackets into two and use them in terms to multiply the second bracket. You have 3 root 2 into 3 root 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is the second term of the first bracket, into 3 root 2 plus 2. Divide by the denominator, 9 times 2 minus 4. So simplifying this further, this gives us 3 root 2 times 3 root 2. For 3 times 3 is 9, times root 2 times root 2 is 2 plus 3 root 2 times 2 gives us 6 root 2. 2 times 3 root 2 will give you plus 6 root 2, while 2 times 2 will give us plus 4. All divided by 9 times 2 is 18, and 18 minus 4 is 14. When you simplify further, 9 times 2 is 18, Plus 6 root 2 plus 6 root 2 gives us plus 12 root 2 plus 4. All divided by 
14. And when you simplify further, 18 plus 4 is 22. That is 22 plus 12 root 2 divided by 14. Looking at the numerator, you agree with me that there is a factor that is common, which is 2. So I am going to factorize out 2 from that expression. That is 2 into bracket. When you factorize out 2 from 22, you have 11 plus factorize out 2 from 12 root 2 gives you 6 root 2 into bracket 14. And you agree with me that 2 is a factor of itself and 14. So 2 into itself is 1. 2 into 14 is 7 times. This is equal to 11 plus 6 root 2 divided by 7 for nothing else can simplify this further. Kindly like our videos as you watch. Why we encourage you to subscribe if you are yet to do so. Also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. We encourage you to share the link with your friends and family as well as to use the comment section to interact with us on areas that seems difficult for you. We shall now take more exercises on conjugate sorts. We are asked to simplify the following by rationalizing the denominators. This is to enable you to understand perfectly how to rationalize denominators in different forms. So I shall be taking about 15 examples for you to see how the questions can come and how to rationalize them. One says 1 divided by 3 minus root 5. So the first thing to do is to get the conjugates of the binomial which is 3 minus root 5 and the conjugate of 3 minus root 5 is said to be 3 plus root 5. So I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that conjugate which is 3 plus root 5 divided by 3 plus root 5. And I've explained to you why we are multiplying by 3 plus root 5 divided by 3 plus root 5. For when you multiply any number by 1, it does not change to that number. Because 3 plus root 5 divided by 3 plus root 5 is still said to be 1. So we shall multiply out the numerators and the denominators. This will be equal to 1 times 3 plus root 5 is said to be 3 plus root 5. Divide by applying the idea of difference of two squares at the denominator. This gives us 3 squared minus root 5 squared. When you simplify, this is equal to 3 plus root 5 divided by 3 squared is 9 minus root 5 squared is 5. This is equal to 3 plus root 5 divided by 9 minus 5 is 4. And nothing else can divide both the numerator and denominator. And this is our answer. Question 2. We are asked to rationalize 4 divided by 4 plus root 6. In evaluating this, we also multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of 4 plus root 6. And the conjugate of 4 plus root 6 is said to be 4 minus root 6. Just like I said, all you need to do is to change the sign of the second term. So this becomes 4 minus root 6 divided by 4 minus root 6. So when you multiply out, this gives you 4 into bracket 4 minus root 6 divided by... At the denominator, we apply the difference of two squares. And this gives you 4 squared minus root 6 squared, which is equal to... This gives us 4 into 4 minus root 6 divided by... 4 squared is 16 minus root 6 squared is said to be 6. So when you do this, when you simplify this further, you are going to have 4 into 4 minus root 6 divided by 
16 minus 6 gives us 10 and when you look at it you agree with me that 2 is a factor that can divide both 4 and 10 so 2 into 4 is 2 2 into 10 is 5 this gives us 2 into 4 minus root 6 divided by 5 if you observe you discover that when i multiplied the numerator since i have 4 as a factor outside i didn't expand the bracket because definitely i'm going to rationalize the denominator which will give me a real number and thereafter i can then look for a factor that can divide the constant term outside by the denominator and that's what i just did so whenever you have a term multiplying the bracket at the numerator don't be in a haste to expand it leave it at that form for definitely it may end up reducing the denominator so this is our answer question three we have root 5 divided by root 15 minus root 10. you multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator and the conjugate of root 15 minus root 10 is said to be root 15 plus root 10 so this becomes divided by root 15 plus root 10 when you multiply out the numerators and denominators you simplify this gives us root 5 into root 15 plus root 10 and for the denominator, you apply the difference of two squares. For root 15 squared will give you 15 minus root 10 squared will give you 10. I can now simplify the numerator. Root 5 times root 15 gives me root 75 plus root 5 times root 10 is said to be root 50 divided by 15 minus 10 is 5. I can now simplify the numerator again for root 75 can be said to be 25 times 3 and root 25 is said to be 5 so that gives me 5 root 3 so this is 5 root 3 plus root 50 can also be broken down into root 25 times root 2 and that gives us 5 root 2 so 5 root 2 divide by 5 and if you look at the numerator 5 is common so we can factorize out 5 leaving us with 5 into root 3 plus root 2 all divided by 5 so this 5 can cancel out this 5 giving us our answer as root 3 plus root 2 kindly like our videos if you are yet to do so and also subscribe to our channel as well as to turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded we also advise that you use the comment section to interact with us on areas where you are not too clear on and i'll be there to attend to you we take question four three root 13 divided by five minus root 13 so I'm going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of 5 minus root 13. And the conjugate of 5 minus root 13 is said to be 5 plus root 13. Divide by 5 plus root 13. When you multiply out the numerator, this is equal to 3 root 13 into 5 plus root 13 when you apply the idea of difference of two squares at the denominator you shall be having five squared minus root 13 squared so this is equal to three root 13 into five plus root 13 divided by 25 minus 13 and when you simplify this i'm going to multiply out the numerators and this is going to give me 3 root 13 into 
5 plus root 13 divide by 25 minus 13 is 12 and 3 can divide both itself and 12 this is 3 here is 1 3 into 12 is 4 so this is equal to root 13 into 5 plus root 13 divide by 4 but i can still simplify it further and this gives me by expanding the numerator this gives me 5 root 13 plus root 13 times root 13 is said to be 13 divided by 4 and this is your answer as we cannot simplify it further than this question 5 we are to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of root 5 minus root 3 and the conjugate is root 5 plus root 3 also divided by root 5 plus root 3 so when you multiply out the numerator you will be having root 5 plus root 3 times root 5 plus root 3 to be divided by difference of two squares is said to be root 5 squared minus root 3 squared so this is equal to i'm going to simplify the numerator now when you have an expression a two-term expression that is squared for you to simplify it this can be said to be the square of the first term plus the square of the second term plus two times the product of the first and second term i'll come again when you have root 5 plus root 3 times root 5 plus root 3 again for you to simplify this using expansion method what you arrive at is the square of the first term plus the square of the second term plus two times the product of the first term and the last term that is to say if i simplify this i'm going to have root 5 squared plus root 3 squared plus 2 times the product of 5 and 3 all divide by the denominator which is 5 minus 3 and when you simplify the numerator this gives you 5 plus 3 plus 2 root 15 or divide by 2 so simplifying this further you have 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 2 root 15 divide by 2 and this is equal to at the numerator 2 is a factor so i can factorize out 2 so i have 2 into bracket 4 plus root 15 all divided by 2 and 2 at the numerators and denominator can cancel out so this becomes 4 plus root 15 as our answer question 6 we also multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator which is 5 root 8 plus 4 root 6 divided by 5 root 8 plus 4 root 6 when you simplify this you are going to have bracket 13 plus root 5 times bracket 5 root 8 plus 4 root 6 all you need to do is just to follow the method i gave you and apply the idea of difference of two squares at the denominator you have 5 root 8 squared minus 4 root 6 squared so simplifying this i'm going to have 13 
into 5 root 8 plus 4 root 6 plus root 5 into 5 root 8 plus 4 root 6 that is for the numerator divide by the denominator which is 25 times 8 minus 4 squared is 16 times 6 so this is equal to expanding the brackets or expanding the numerator you have 13 times 5 for 3 times 5 is 15 and that is 65 root 8 plus 13 times 4 root 6 is said to be 52 root 6. Also, when you multiply root 5 times 5 root 8, will give you 5 root 40 plus root 5 times 4 root 6 will be equal to 4 root 30 all divide by 25 times 8 is said to be 200 minus 16 times 6 we have 6 times 6 is 36 you write down 6 and carry 3 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9 that is 96 simplifying this further i have 65 times 2 root 2 plus 56 root 6 plus 5 times 2 root 10 plus 4 root 30 all divide by 200 minus 96 gives us 104 this can be simplified further to give us we can't collect items at the numerator but we can factorize out 2 so 2 is common at the numerator so instead of you factorizing out 2 before you divide you can use 2 to divide every term in the numerator as well as the denominator so 2 into this is 1. Remember this is a bracket. 2 into 56. That will be 28. 2 into this. We cancel this. And 2 here will be 2. Why 2 into this is 52. Leaving us with 65 root 2 plus 28 root 6 plus 5 root 10 plus 2 root 30 all divided by 52 and i don't think there's any term that can simplify this further so this is our answer. That brings us to the end of today's class. In today's class, we have looked at the fourth objective, which tries to explain the concept of conjugate binomial sorts. In the next class, I shall be solving more examples on conjugate binomial sorts. But before we go, let me leave you with this as an assignment. I would like you to evaluate this by rationalizing the denominator. So all you need to do is to find the conjugates of this and multiply both the numerator and denominator by the, by the conjugates. And when you simplify, it gives you your answer. When we meet in the next class, I shall be giving you the solution to this exercise. Thank you for being patient to the end of this class. Your presence matters to me a lot and I appreciate you for having watched this video to the end. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you are yet to do so. Also turn on the notification bell 
so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You are also encouraged to use the comment section to let us know how you feel about this video as well as share the links to your friends so that they can also benefit from this project. Thank you and see you in our next class.